there's apparently an electrical issue with it, so the mechanic is here trying to fix it. But I don't know if he's having any luck. We might get a new bus, so we'll keep you updated. And after a further half hour delay, we are finally on the bus, heading from Cairns to our first stop in Townsville. Hopefully it should be about a five hour journey time, and then we're going to do an overnight before then hitting up our next bus. It's 10.30 and we've just arrived to our hotel in Townsville. Our bus leaves here at 6 in the morning, so we are going to head to sleep immediately. Good morning! From Townsville, it is just gone 5 a.m. and we are on the way to our bus to then take us on to our next Australian destination. But it is going to take 27 hours by bus to get there, so we're in for a long one. Woohoo! After leaving Townsville. 38 hours after leaving Cairns. We are finally here. Alice Springs. You might be wondering what we're doing slap bang in the middle of Australia. Well, we are going to be doing a tour today of one of the most important natural and sacred sites in the entirety of Australia. That's right, we are going to see Uluru, otherwise known as Ayers Rock. Let's go. And after getting picked up by a smaller bus, we're now going on to the big bus to start the tour. After four and a half hours on the coach bus, we have finally arrived at Uluru Katachuta National Park. I hope I'm saying that correctly, and we're about to go and collect our pre packed lunch. Before we go exploring Uluru, then we have been brought to its lesser known sibling. This is Kata Juta, which in the local Aboriginal language means many heads. The reason it is called many heads is because it has 36 domes, the highest of which is 545 meters tall. Let's go check it out. We're just about to do our self-guided hike into Walpa Gorge here at Kata Juta. arrived at the showpiece 
the highlight of this tour, the reason that we came to the Australian Outback. We are at Uluru, otherwise known as Ayers Rock, and it is absolutely massive. The base perimeter is 9.5 kilometers long. And actually something we've just found out today is that this is actually something of a geological iceberg. <laughs> That's and our tour guide, again. Yad. This is Yad. Yad. <laughs> <laughs> so something we've learned today is that actually this is something of a geological iceberg because at its height that we can see, it's 350 meters tall, but underneath there's a further three kilometers to this rock. Huge. Let's go explore. We're in one of the caves in Uluru, and as you can see behind me, there's a bunch of paintings on the wall. Apparently, these are 5,000 years old, but unfortunately, a lot of them have been washed away because the paint was made of natural materials found in nature and when they were trying to actually restore them they ended up ruining it and destroying some of the paintings but these are some of them that remain and interestingly they all have different meanings so these circles here that indicates a watering hole and this yellow flower here is something that can be found in this area and right over here there's a boomerang other side of Uluru and parts of this are actually sacred so we haven't been allowed to film or video that part but the bits we have been able to have been equally as stunning as this one that we started with and honestly this has been truly phenomenal we've had this on our respective bucket lists for I can't even remember how long and it's lived up to it and more this is a truly spectacular place and it really makes you forget about the 40 degree heat but anyway this is basically our time actually seeing Uluru up close I think they're now laying on a barbecue dinner for us so we're gonna go enjoy that has been absolutely superb. The information that we've managed to get as we've toured around this magnificent natural wonder has been second to none. Really could not fault it. And the fact that they've properly taken care of us on the food and drink front as well is nothing short of spectacular. And I don't think I could have asked for a better day personally. The second thank you is to the Ananu people. This is their land, and so thank you for letting us visit, letting us learn about your culture, and especially this sacred place. It's been a true honor, and we definitely do not take it for granted by any stretch of the imagination. But tomorrow, we are leaving Alice Springs to move on to our next destination in Australia. 
which means another overnight bus for us, but you have already seen at least two of those, so I don't think you need to see another one, as I'm sure it will be much the same. What we will leave you with, though, is some lasting sunset shots of this wonderful place to round off this video. So until next time, take care. And keep smiling.